Hey Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo. Welcome back to the channel. I'm going to do your weekend reading here. See what messages pop out for you. And look, you've got the hermit, you guys. So preview for the weekend. Virgo's like, nope, I'm not going out anywhere this weekend. I got a lot of overthinking to do and some rabbit holes to explore. So I'm just going to sit home and isolate. <laughs> some of you, I don't know. It looks like a, a self-reflective kind of weekend going on here for you guys. You're just hermit mode 2.0. You are not trying to get out and do anything. Yeah. It looks that way, but we'll see what else comes up. Um, if you're new to my channel, please click that like, share, and subscribe button. You can become a member as well, 33 cents a day, and you get early access to my videos. You can also follow me on Facebook. All the links, everything you need is below. Personal reading links, everything. All right, Virgo, let's see what's going on here, Virgo. Oh my goodness. Virgo sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Okay, not enough. Ooh, Virgo, frustrated in a relationship. Lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego, issues, jealousy. Virgo, you're not feeling good? Virgo, not feeling up to par. Um, perhaps over this weekend, all right? It just looks to me like maybe you're not feeling well. Somebody, you know, you might be sick. Um, you know, maybe you'll catch a little cold over the weekend and it's kind of like, nope, not going anywhere. <laughs> just staying home, isolating. Maybe some of you right now are, you know, maybe you got the big C or the big F um, and you're just telling everybody you're not doing anything. You're not up to it. Not feeling like good enough or, you know, that could be a mental thing going on as well or, you know, well, you know, when you, you feel bad um, physically, then it kind of puts you in a little depressive state, like you're just not up to something here over the weekend. Okay. Um, let's see what else is going on. A couple more messages here. All right. Okay, you've got passion. Hmm. Yeah, Virgo, I feel like you're kind of struggling here. Like you want to go out and have fun. You want to do whatever it is you want to do. You want to enjoy. But there's like, there's this dichotomy, you know. You're kind of like, oh, yeah, I really, 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 really want to do this. But not sure if you are, like, you're just not fully feeling up to it. Um, something, maybe get invited to do something. Or there, you know, maybe it's just, it could even be work. Some of you really want to go to work you don't maybe you're one of those Virgos that never misses a day you know um where you have something that you really enjoy doing and you're just not up to it over this weekend okay and this just feels more like a personal thing going on with you here okay you do have soulmate so there could be somebody reaching out to you that wants to get together um and connect with you. Soulmate could be a lover, could also be a friend. Virgo, it just looks to me like you're, you're kind of like, no, not this weekend. Um, steering clear of any kind of involvement. So we're looking at, so I'm making this video on January 26th. So it's for this weekend, the 27th through the 29th. All right, let's see. Let's see what else is going on. Virgo, if you're not feeling well, if you're not feeling up to something, if you just want to isolate or you need some downtime, um, you need to take it, okay? You just need to take it. Now, really quick, I just want to say, some of you could have another Virgo in your life, okay? As well, there's a soulmate connection and this person feels a lot of passion, but they don't feel good enough about themselves to have this connection. They don't feel worthy. Um, there's something going on with them. I don't feel like it's anything coming from you. This person just lacks confidence and they overthink. All right. So that's just one specific message there. All right. Let me take a look and see what other messages are happening here. God forbid if I have this in time lapse again. <laughs> let me see what other messages there are for you coming up for the weekend. Virgo sun, moon, rising, or Venus. You don't have to be a Virgo sun to get these messages. Okay, wow. So you've got the tower. So um, a big bamboom kind of energy happening over the weekend here. Can you see that card? Yeah, there's definitely some type of shocking revelation or news or something just comes to you out of the blue. Let's see what this is. I mean, it's going to cause a huge, huge change. Okay, cards are flipping out. Wow. Wow. Okay. Um, hmm. You're going to learn something. 
What is Virgo finding out about? What is Virgo finding out about over this weekend? Something to do with work. Um, okay. Now, usually my readings are love readings, but I feel like I'm touching on a lot of different things. Um, there's a new hire at work that is going to surprise you. Okay. <laughs> or, and also somebody um, at work or at your career that's asking around about you, I feel. Ooh, there's a chariot. That's like my ambulance card. <laughs> Virgo. <laughs> I just can't. I just can't with this. Um, maybe you work in a hospital or um, something's going on. There's also an energy of like the house. I'm just hearing a place where you work. Wow, it got really dark. A place where you work. Um, there's like a relocation. They might be shutting down some offices or something. And um, temporarily, maybe some reconstruction. Okay. So... Yeah, that's the first message. Like, it doesn't have to be in a hospital. I mean, if you work in a hospital, that's like wherever you work, okay? Maybe you work in a car dealership or something. There's like some new hires, and there's also, but it's like a shock. There's like a change. Something's happening at your place of employment. Some of you might, they might like tell you, you need to go take some courses or get some re-education in your job. And it's like, you've been there for, I don't know, like 30 years. And it's just like, what? What? Um... And some of you might get like a, a notice to quit <laughs> or retirement or just, you know, something comes out. And it's like some gossip, though. I feel like it's gossip. Is it really happening? I'm not sure. But I feel like there's a lot of like little birdies talking at your, at your work. Some information is coming out to you about you, okay? About you. Some information is coming out to you about you that other people are talking about you or another person in particular. It's related to your career. It's related to a love thing. You're going to find out about this this energy over this weekend um, by way of like, I don't know, phone calls or connecting with friends or somebody reaching out to you and saying something to you. And um, unless you work on the weekend, it could be one or the other. But there's definitely like some change that's coming in and I feel like it's going to floor you. Okay, wow. Ace of Wands. Yeah, there's definitely some kind of new beginning happening here or new start. Um, wow. Okay. All right. So this information, Virgo, that's coming in, I feel like it's going to give you a sense of like empowerment. Um, it's a weird message, but whatever this thing is, Oh, for some of you, um, you're going to find out about someone who has like a really strong, there's that passion, a really strong, passionate soulmate, like interest in you, especially over the weekend. Okay. And I feel like it's going to come as a surprise. You know, it's just all around the board. Lots of surprises. Somebody's definitely got a B-O-N-E-R for you <laughs> or, you know, whatever, uh, masculine or feminine energy. <laughs> I mean, hey, you know, it could go you know we're it can go either way here what am i even saying so let me just see or it can go both ways or you know that kind of energy all right so there's definitely some defensive energy here as well um virgo some of you um i will say this are going to okay this is so strange. Okay, some of you lift. I know, I know. Strength training. It's coming back around. Um, maybe you're going to start. Now, I know some of you might not be feeling well over the weekend. You're not doing something or you may not be feeling like it and feeling depressed. Maybe one of your passions is you do some something in the gym like um, power lift or something along those lines. Um, you're going to see new growth and changes over this weekend, maybe from something you've been doing before. And... Um, I don't, it's something like you'd look down at your leg and you're like, damn. Or you look at your arms in the mirror and there's just this empowerment and self-confidence of some sort that's going to hit you over the weekend. You might have just been cutting um, your foods and stuff and... Um, you're, you some you know you could be building muscle without actually lifting weights you could just be like really increasing your fat and your proteins and lowering your carbs um, which could also be building muscle for you without you know lifting weights um, 
but yeah, there's definitely like a big, there's a just shocking energy and it feels like it's all across the board. You know, um, some of you are going to get some kind of bonus or like a, like some money of some sort from your career, your job or something. Like I see a lot of improvements, but at the same time, Virgo, uh, some of you are just, you're, so it balances out kind of cause you're getting all this great information, like this information, this news, someone's interested in you has like a crush or a thing for you there's some gossip there's some news at work there's something going on with your health that's improving and all at the same time when you're feeling rotten or you're feeling kind of like you just don't want to get out of bed or maybe you're just going through like um you know just maybe like a down period over the weekend your passions are low too if that energy is playing out for you i feel like you're gonna get a lot of good news in regards to um you know, some stuff going on here. Um, let's see. What other messages? Give us some new messages for Virgo. What new messages for Virgo? Okay. Wow. Okay, you've got the world here. So there's definitely going to be either some type of internet communication, virtual communication. Um, there's travel. And also you've got the Ten of Swords. So, hmm... Let's see. There's definitely some change. Uh, you're starting. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Hold on a sec. I'm getting like a whole bunch of messages right now. Usually I'm pretty quick with them, but now they're giving me different things here. Um, so you're walking away like this weekend is like you're done. Okay. You, you've left something in the past this weekend. I see you're like, you know, walking out the door you know you can just check out my booty as i'm walking away because that's all you're gonna see and i feel like that's an energy i can't believe how dark it got in here hold on let me see if i can get you guys some light because i'm sure you probably can't see these cards um okay it's a little bit better so yeah you're definitely walking away from some kind of betrayal or something that ended you're surrendering um and I feel like some of you are going home over the weekend or you're visiting family or celebrating something over the weekend as well. Or you're being invited to celebrate something over the weekend. Um, there's also some kind of an event at a bank. I'm just seeing there's an event of some sort at a bank that you're going to be going to. These messages are just flying out today and they're not specifically about love, I think. Um, there's also a charity event of some sort you could be attending um, or some kind of community event where there's um, helping those less fortunate. You could be attending that as well. Or you, you, you might be physically attending that or you could be doing that online or getting involved with something online over the weekend. Okay. Um, helping the, the poor or homeless or something along those lines. Okay. Um, Okay, got the emperor. So some of you might be in the military as well. Um, some of you are getting a, okay, like, I don't know anything about military, so I don't know what this would be called, but I'm just seeing someone who's going up in rank, okay? There's definitely um, something happening over the weekend. It doesn't have to be military. It could be in you know, any kind of force, special forces, police, um, wherever there's ranks in a, you know, like a, um, it could be, it could be like karate. Maybe you're going to get a belt <laughs> or get like, um, maybe go up in a belt or something along those lines. Anything where there's a rank, your rank goes up over the weekend or you get some kind of, there's like a celebration of some sort. Um, it could be a position in work. You get notified. That could be part of what some gossip is, is that you're getting, uh, you're being promoted. That's the energy. You're being promoted. <clears throat> I don't know. Maybe you're going from sales to management. It, like it could be anything. There's definitely promotion. You might get this information online as well. Oh, look at the sun. This is really positive. I mean, I feel like this is going to make you very happy. You know, all this energy keeps playing out for me here that the weekend is basically like shocking news comes in and it is an increase in all areas, love, 
things you find out, um, a new beginnings happening here, increases, increases, increases. Okay. Um, some of this, you're like, I feel like you're going to hear whatever the news is, all these different uh, things that are coming up here for you, that you're going to hear it through a little birdie first before you, you get the information officially over the weekend. Okay. For some of you, this is like, <laughs> Virgo, here you are over this weekend feeling not good enough, feeling like you're never going to meet somebody, feeling like your passion is dying down. You might be feeling ill, physically ill or mentally ill. Um, lacking confidence and then you know spirit just comes in and gives you a little poke and is like hey hey it's it's not all that bad here you go they give you a, they bring you a little sweet treat you know and like you get some a little pickup you know and it's a reminder that I feel like it comes from spirit it's a reminder that you are worthy and maybe just because you're having a, a, a down weekend or you're just feeling like some of you just are having a pity party you know what I mean? You're having a pity party or you're just not feeling good. Or you just don't want to talk to anybody and you're like, nothing's working out and you're just feeling sorry for yourself or knock that shit off. Either way, if that's how you're feeling, I feel like you're going to get like a little boost, like a, a power up, a level up. <laughs> and someone's going to be like, oh, oh, this is happening for me. Oh, okay. What was I doing? I was just like wallowing in self-pity. I got to stop that. <laughs> And it's kind of a reminder that you are loved, you are worthy, you are good enough, like, you know. So I'm not predicting that you're going to be in, like, a low mood. This doesn't have to be over this weekend, but it's kind of like an overall, for some of you it might be, it might already be happening. But for some of you, like, it, it, apply this at any time, right? Because I do feel like when you're on a good path and you're, you know, upping your intake <laughs> of things and you're trying to gain your confidence and get yourself back to being strong and capable and self-assured, sometimes there's going to be in life little darts that get thrown at you um, because that's life. It's, it's never just a static thing across the board. Sometimes there's setbacks. Um, but I feel like it's really important for you to try to see things from a different light. As far as love goes, okay, you might have two options in love. Um, you might get to like a proposal from one person. Um, or yeah, definitely. Okay, we have Pisces on the board for sure. There's Leo. There's Aries. Um, there's Cancer and Scorpio. Um, or just a love offer in general. Someone, you know, brings you, cause somebody could be bringing you some soup as well, or some tea or something if you're feeling ill. Um, some of you might be kind of like stuck, not feeling good. I know I'm starting to get a cold and my throat's, throat is starting to get blah. But some of you might be kind of like, oh, Jesus, help me, help me. I'm not feeling good and praying and trying to like not get really sick. I feel like you might have a couple people, maybe some friends, three people coming over to give you some medicine or help you out with some things. You also have love coming in. Um, now the love is sitting on the king of cups and here we have the two of cups on the king of pentacles so taurus capricorn virgo either way either way it's it's love okay you got a lot of support and a lot of people surrounding you if you're in a down position and wow the fool so i feel like um you're gonna get your inspiration and your spunk back as the weekend, you know, going through the rest of the weekend into Sunday, I definitely feel like you're going to come out of whatever this is, but you're going to have all this great, like a, just, it feels like an uplift, like a f liberation, like a free, a free feeling. And as far as like on the love front and like, it's all around over this weekend, you know, stuff with your job, your career, some upgrades, some increases. I mean, I just love it, Virgo. Um, it's just manifesting the positive, right? I mean, I don't, I mean, you'll get a love offer. You'll definitely have one, or two, or three people reaching out. Um, basically, like, coming in to um, either romance you <laughs> or just be very flirtatious or just, it's like a, it's like a little bolt of affection and love. That's really what I feel. It's something you need. Virgo. 
<coughs> excuse me yeah look because you virgo you've been under so much pressure under pressure press it down on me pressing down on you no man as well there's that song mm -hmm. all right 80s trivia name of the artists who sang that artist or artists and the name of the song there you go leave it in the comments leave it in the the chat okay um so yeah virgo you've been under a lot of pressure These are the days it never rains, but it pours. Mm, boom, ba, ba. Okay, so you're coming to the end of that here. You just had a struggle. You're exhausted, Virgo. Over this weekend, you just there's exhaustion. Like you, you feel like you're carrying around like eight thousand bricks. You know, you're the weight of the weight. You know, but understand too, some of the weight and, and you know, like you picked up those. You pick those sticks up, right, Virgo? Some of you are, per are, are like, I can do it, I can do it, I can do it, I can do it. You know, you're taking on too much. And I feel like for some of you, you've been taking on too much. And listen, this Virgo over here, I'm not taking on, so this isn't about me. You're, you've been taking on so much that it's just worn you out. You're wearing you down. And you need rest over this weekend, okay? You will come out of this, though. You, you just need to, like, tell the world... Like I said, walk out the door, whether that's your job and you got to take some time off if you're a weekend worker or going through the rest of this week, whatever it is, like walk out the door and be like, you can kiss my ass as I'm walking out this door. Okay. Cause I'm going, I need a break. I need rest. You know, otherwise, like I do feel not all is going to be lost. I don't feel like the world is going to fall apart for you. If you decide, you know what, everybody's just going to have to take a back seat right now. You know, I, I feel like things are just going to keep moving forward for you and you're going to get your increases and your abundance, your abundance and your, your level up and your power ups are going to come. Now you've got the Wheel of Fortune. So it's a favorable weekend for you to just chill. You know, if you have to work over this weekend, then take the moments, whether they're mental or physical in some way, to get R&R. &R. You know, even if it's just sitting at your desk, if you're at a desk and breathing, doing some three seconds in, three seconds out, hold for three seconds, three seconds in, and do that like five to ten times sitting at your desk just to get that you know, that release, because I feel like, and especially with the shocking news and all this amazing stuff coming in for you, you know, shocking news can be good news. That's like lottery win. Like, <gasps> you can't even breathe, you know, like, it, you're in shock, right? And you're, you like, all oh, your body, like everything stops working and your lungs are like, <laughs> I'm sorry, we can't, we can't, we can't right now. Virgo, I feel like whatever's going on here, whatever this like flooring kind of news happens here um you gotta breathe <laughs> you know even though it's even though it's it feels good okay there's so overall to summarize Virgo because I know you're probably like what the hell's going on in this reading overall to summarize you've got an increase or a change in your job an offer of some sort okay um or an increase in rank in any other area of your life that you're going to receive, okay? That's going to be a, a bonus to you, a plus, okay? Um, whether that's in health, in wealth, in love, okay? You've got people around you who are supporting you. You're going to find a lot of stuff out by word of mouth, little birdie. Um, you've got like two to three love offers coming in and support. And energy coming in from other people over this weekend, even though you're going to be kind of like a little bit down for the count, you're going to get a boost, a power up over the weekend. So I feel like it's all, it's all going to work out. Like this weekend is kind of like a little blip in the radar. You think it's the worst thing ever. You think something's just awful or horrible right now. No, um, you're, you're going to get that reminder you know, from the supernatural, from God, from Buddha, you know, whoever you choose to make your, you know, higher power, it's going to remind you that, you know, uh, we're not, it's not a situation where you're going to be down for long, you're going to feel better, you will get better. Okay, yeah. And then you've got back out there on the horizon, like, uh, ready and waiting um, to see what else is going on out there in the world. Like, 
because I feel like over this weekend, it's like my your curiosity is down and you just don't want to care. You just are like, I'm just not trying to care about anything over the weekend. I just need my time to myself. But then coming out, you come right back out and then you're like, oh, okay, what's going on in the world? It's like you come out of the hermit mode and you go stand at your door, you know, and you're looking out and you're like, okay, what's going on in the weather? What's happening in the world? Um you're curious again. You're interested again. You also have the Queen of Cups here. So, hmm, okay. Well, this is self-care. Like, I feel like really feeling better about yourself, definitely. Um, nurturing yourself over the weekend is really, really important. And, hmm, some of you need to be careful about certain medicines you take. Like, if, you're being, if you've been given a prescription for a narcotic, um... You might need to make a, a judgment call about like if you really need to take it or to keep taking it. I'm just hearing that. Like, can you just take paracetamol or ibuprofen or um, something natural? Can you do something natural or more holistic rather than taking some kind of drink or chemical of some sort to help you with something? Some of you, listen, you might even be quitting drinking or quitting smoking or doing something um, over this weekend that you're going to need this downtime to just kind of like sleep it off or something. And yeah, I feel like there's a lot of consideration in regards to that, you know, or somebody comes to bring you some medicine and it's like, I don't know if I want to take this. I've been taking a lot of this, you know, um, I don't know if I want to get my VAX of whatever kind, you know, some of you might be refusing something here over the weekend as well, or just saying after the weekend, like, I think I'm going to, I think I'm just going to stop with that. Like, I've been drinking way too much NyQuil. I think I need to stop. <laughs> you know, something, it could be anything like that, right? You're just refusing, you're refusing some kind of, um, either something that gets poured into a cup or a container or is delivered by way of a container, okay? All right, let me say um, one more message here for you. Okay, you've got justice, Libra and energy. Mm. King of Wands, that's Leo. Oh, Knight of Wands, okay, we got Sagittarius and also um, Aries again and Aquarius. Hmm. Okay, somebody's coming in to bring you some po All right, so you're getting some positive news also over the weekend in regard to maybe some legal or tax issues, okay? Um, I'm just hearing you're going to be able to recover some money, okay? Uh, somebody comes in with like this plan, and, you know, maybe you're going to do your taxes over the weekend as well. Um, there's somebody here who might be helping you with that, or you might be seeking someone to help you with that. I feel like... Um, there's definitely someone here who's going to be really eager to help you and show you like what they come up with. I feel like it's going to be very beneficial. This is good money news. And the justice card is about legal and tax issues for sure. So, you know, you're going to get something, some kind of payout. Um, something that you've been hoping, I feel like you might have been worried about some kind of tax thing, or maybe you owe money back or something, I feel like you're actually going to get a payout, and somebody's going to come in and help you with this. It could be like a, an accountant. Maybe you're an accountant, and you're going to um, help somebody get some money back or something, like you're really going to help them out. And it's going to be positive, okay, and good for you, because you're going to get paid nicely you're gonna have a, a nice a, a nice handsome check for something that you do for somebody also over the weekend and no oh, they're gonna give you a gift <laughs> definitely um or just like a real sweet message and also a referral i'm hearing um I don't feel like this, like, I feel like, all right, so, all right, for some of you, if that's a, if that's a job that you have or that you do, um, it's going to be permanent. This is going to be a client for you, and they're pretty wealthy. They have 
good amount of money and I feel like this person's going to be coming to you every year like you're gonna and you're gonna do everything for them like some of you are getting a, you're leaving a job and you're starting something new or it's another person okay um, it could be a significant other or someone that's close to you is leaving a job and getting a new position that they absolutely love and it's something to do with money okay um, or legal tax issues that kind of stuff um, let's see so there's definitely permanent work I'm hearing okay yeah look at all the pentacle energy showing up here um, there's definitely an energy of budgeting looking at the finances looking at the financial growth and investments okay definitely Somebody's going to help someone with their portfolio, something to do with stocks as well to increase their growth. Like I said, Virgo, I'm just feeling a lot of increase, increase, increase happening over this weekend for you. A lot of good information. Yeah, look, wishes, material wishes coming true, material wealth, things that are going to make you very happy. Um, you're going to be able to buy more plates and coffee cups for your cabinets. <laughs> you're going to get that nice china. You know, you're going to be able to increase your, maybe your collector, you do something with collectibles. Um, you're going to be able to buy these really expensive collectibles and resell them or save them or whatever kind of thing that you do. I feel like... Um, you're going to be able to uh, hire that DJ, they just said, some DJ for something or some kind of an event as well. Mm, I'm just seeing, okay, mm, a Greek wedding. They're just giving me a Greek wedding. Uh, something to do with a Greek wedding, maybe being able to pay for it or be, uh, there's some attachment to it in some way. Okay. Um, yeah. Is there a special name for a Greek wedding? I don't know if there is, but I'm just seeing, uh, I'm hearing Opa, Opa, <laughs> just a Greek wedding. My big fat Greek wedding? Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. Somebody might be watching that over the weekend. Okay, let me see. All right, I'm just going to get a couple more and then I'm going to end your reading out because I'm going on so long. Okay, Virgo, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising. Please do share this with your friends and let them know they don't have to be a Virgo to watch this, okay? They can be, you know, if it resonates or something, someone you're connected to, it's like, oh my gosh, that's my friend or that's my person. Please definitely share it with them. You can share it on social media. All you have to do is click the share button below. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of movement, a lot of communication coming in from someone for sure. Let me see fast talker this is someone who's a fast talker some of you might be um, getting involved in some kind of sales thing as well let me see okay oh yeah so somebody's coming in to try to convince you of something virgo definitely because i feel like you might just be like nah mm, nah mm, nah no no i don't know i'm not sure i don't know somebody's coming in real fast to try to like talk you into something that, and I feel like this person is going to be very truthful with what, what they're trying to influence you to do. There's a lot of communication. And I kind of feel like this person is going to be very, like, asking you questions, being very curious about you. I feel like somebody wants to, um, what is it connected to? It's connected to either in intellectual property or something along the lines of communications. Um so much like these are two victory cards next to each other um gosh i don't know if it's like somebody wants to, either they're going to ask you questions like how you are in the position that you're in in your life where you are as far as like if you have fans or you have uh you garner a lot of attention or you have a lot of recognition in your life okay that might be just a specific message for someone not all of you and i feel like someone's coming in to pick your brain and try to talk to you about all that um either they want to try to increase for you um people uh, who are uh, maybe you work in some kind of entertainment field or something they want to try to increase things for you um, or you it could be you talking to someone and trying to increase stuff for somebody else yeah this is all about you know 
Virgo, I feel like you, uh, when it comes to this, if someone's coming in and trying to um, talk you into something when it involves finances or money, I feel like you're going to have your, you know, your shields up a little bit. You're very cautious when it comes to your, your finances, Virgo, like you don't mess with that. Okay. Um, but it looks like you might agree. So you might be paying for something also that will help you increase you know how it's the old saying, maybe you're doing a startup or a business. It's the old, you know, you got to spend money to make money. You, you, you'll, drop a, you'll drop a coin in, a, in the coin slot just to see what might come out, but you're not giving any more than that. For some of you, this has, a, this could be just like you're buying a diet program or you're joining a gym. Whatever you're going to pay for, that someone's trying to kind of talk you into and telling you how good it'll be and you'll be in a great position over the weekend um, Talk to talk to you about this. I feel like they're, they're being honest, you know what I mean? Like there's truth behind it. This is this is something that's being offered that you can actually look up and you can research and see um, what other people are saying. You could look at the reviews. And I feel like for you, you're going to be hesitant because Virgo is not going to spend all, they're not going to drop all their dimes on one thing that they don't even know is a surefire thing. This could be investing in stocks. It could be anything. Like there's going to be, you're going to research. And I feel like you might just kind of, like I said, you'll drop a coin in the coin slot and see what happens. You know, you'll, you'll play one game and see how that goes you know and then if it looks good then maybe you'll drop two next time or you just keep you'll keep going like I definitely feel like you're going to invest in something and somebody's going to try to come in and help you with that but I feel like the strongest message Virgo is that you need to make sure that you do your research and I'm going to end your reading but before I do listen you guys the spam is out of control Every time you guys comment, somebody, uh, one of those spam bots, I don't know what the hell is going on. They, they act like they're me. They, they have my name. They have my picture. Um, I don't know if they have my full name, but they're replying to your comments, um, something to do with get a personal reading. Here's my WhatsApp number. I don't do that, you guys. That is not me. Somebody reached out to me last week or a couple weeks ago. They dropped 300 bucks on this spam thing, and they got taken. Their money got stolen. So, uh, and then somebody else just recently replied to that spam thing and said, "Hey, House of Virgo or Kelly, is that your phone number?" And I had to reply, "It's not. It's not me." Listen, you guys, listen. I'm gonna have to start saying this. This is a problem on YouTube. It's not just me. There are YouTube channels that are like. 100 million subscribers or million subscribers, not 100 million, I don't think anybody's got that, maybe a million subscribers or more that they're having this happen to, like they're hitting everybody. You abs Maybe this has something to do with it. You ha absolutely have to be careful. I will not solicit. If I do any kind of thing like that, it's going to be on my community tab or I'm going to say it here on my channel that I have a special that I'm running Listen, I do not have the time to go in and reply to every single comment to try to get you to come in and pay for a reading for me. Who the hell has time for that? It's easier for me. It doesn't make any sense if you think about it because I could just say it right here and then it's going to reach 20,000 people rather and I do it in two seconds rather than you really think I'm going under every single comment and saying, hey, get a personal reading with me. Here's my WhatsApp. Get the hell out of here with that shit. I, listen, you have got to be smart. You have got, and I know a lot of you are. I know a lot of you just ignore it, you know, but I want to ask you a favor. If you see it under your comment that you leave under this video or any of the videos, report it, please. All you have to do is click those three dots and hit report spam because that's what it is. And a lot of you, and they happen a lot around the holidays, and they tick back up. They, they disappear. YouTube is like such a mess. They can't get it together. They cannot. This is, this is not new. This has been happening for, I'd say, at least the six to seven years I've been on as a YouTube content creator. This has been going on. And it's just getting worse and worse. And they just don't stop it. They just, I don't know. They don't have enough employees. I don't know what their problem is. I mean, YouTube can like, their algorithm can like... <laughs> control the entire world yet they can't keep these spam bots out like get out of here so hold tight to your wallets hold tight to your money um if you have a problem or you're not sure if that's me just shoot me an email house o virgo at gmail and i will tell you because i don't often go into the comments once in a while i'll go in and i'll, I'll respond to you guys but not often do i i just don't it's it's a lot of stuff to read sometimes i will but Listen, if you're not sure, uh, 
even after I'm telling you this, I promise you, I am not going to respond to you and tell you, hey, here's my WhatsApp number. Text me and I'll give you a reading for free or whatever or whatever. I don't do that. I have an official website. You have to go there. I have an official booking site. You have to book with me first before I agree to the reading. You have to book and pay first, but you have to book with me first. I don't do cash up. I don't do any of that crap. Everything is paid right through the booking site. Okay. So keep that in mind. Keep your, this is just a little public service an announcement because I, I feel so bad that that guy, you know, he was like, you took all my money, House of Virgo. I was like, what? And then he's like, yeah. And, and I never got my reading. And I was like, dude, I don't even charge that much for a reading. Are you kidding? I think it was like 300 bucks he lost. I don't know. Hey, if you're listening to this video, leave the comment below and let everybody know because you know what happened to you. And um, I'm speaking to this guy that got taken. So yeah, be on the lookout, you guys. Be on the lookout and help me. Please help me remove these spam bots and these hackers because they're getting into your shit. All right, that's your reading. Um, I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. I hope you guys... Uh, do post about the 80s trivia song and let me know who it is. Um, and if you can remember, and I'm going to start doing more of those because they're so much fun. And I will be back here on Sunday on the 29th to do your singles reading. All right, you guys. So have a fantastic weekend. Keep your eye out for the shorts and definitely join me over on Facebook. All right. See you.